$70 silver in 2021, is it a possibility? Yes, absolutely. Welcome friends, in today's video, we're gonna break down the reasons why $70 silver is by no means unlikely this year. So let's take a look at where we are right now. With only six days left of Donald Trump's presidential term, attention turns to new economic policies which are to be unveiled by Joe Biden in a pre-inauguration address, the consensus seems to be that his remarks will prescribe a prolonged lockdown extending into February, as well as stimulus money to be directed at state and local governments, private individuals and businesses. There is likely to be a commitment to clean energy infrastructure projects, since more than 50% of silver used in industrial applications is linked to solar panels and electronics, these decarbonization efforts, as they're called, are likely to reward holders of silver mining stocks as well as owners of the physical bullion. Some analysts predict that the dollar will weaken as US foreign policy enters a more predictable phase without the escalating tariff threats that we've got used to over the last few years. A declining US dollar would appear likely along with rising emerging markets. The continuing money printing can't be anything other than bullish for precious metals, however. The Federal Reserve has stated that there will be a period of prolonged negative real rates. As rates go lower, that affects the US dollar because investors may flee dollar denominated assets which generate lower yields. We can see that the real rates and the gold price are inversely correlated. We also note that Russia has dumped quite a lot of US dollar holdings in favor of gold. One brokerage called Philip Futures also said in a note on Monday that the dollar could weaken if the second stimulus package is smaller than expected. An increasingly bearish picture is unfolding for the US dollar on signs that the Fed money printing rather than government spending may be deployed to bolster the economy, it said. The move away from fossil fuels and towards electrification shouldn't be underestimated in terms of how bullish it is for the price of silver. A recent article claims that silver consumption in the global automotive sector will approach 90 million ounces by 2025. And there are a number of reasons for this which detail the many and varied applications of silver in the average vehicle. It's electrically conductive, durable, corrosion resistant, and it has uses in assisting electric power steering, airbag deployment, and charging stations for electric vehicles. We talked about the need to own the electric vehicle market. Tesla recently announced an updated map of its superchargers distributed throughout the US mainland. Instavolt and Osprey are also installing charging points throughout the UK. Even Aptera's bizarre three-wheeled vehicle offering is compatible with a Tesla charger. It might look like an unsteady reliant robin that your dog would knock over simply by wagging its tail, but this is the future of motoring, so you'd better get used to it. The fact that the Democrats prevailed in the Georgia runoffs recently tends to suggest that the upcoming stimulus, which Joe Biden has already been talking about passing, my Build Back Better plan, an independent analysis put out by Moody's, a well-respected law firm lost, won't encounter any opposition, and this will probably drive inflation higher, which means that the purchasing power of each dollar that you have will diminish ever so slightly. So buying silver now before even more stimulus and even more money printing would allow you to insulate yourself from that loss of purchasing power. So it's definitely recommended. The money printing, the electric vehicle demand, these are factors which are bullish for silver prices going forward. Earlier in January, silver surged to over $27.50 as traders bet on higher inflation ahead. What else is bullish? Well, according to UBS global wealth management strategists, silver and platinum will outperform gold in 2021 as the economy recovers and as industrial demand picks up, supporting higher metal prices. However, where does this $70 estimation come from, you might ask? Well, here is a chart from Patrick Karim's discussion with Palisade Radio, in which he lays out a thesis for continuing silver price appreciation in 2021. 
In the example that he gives, a $70 price target for August 2021 was found by transposing Silver's bull run from the 1970s onto today's charts. As we've said many times on this channel, $70 silver is by no means illogical in view of the supply-demand dynamics we see unfolding, the continuous aggressive demand both for industrial and investment-grade silver at the same time as supply diminishment continuing. The only way is up for silver, so now is the perfect time to start stacking, my friends, since silver is available for just over $25.5 at the moment. The other thing that I should mention here is that the Democrats are likely to pass higher taxes without much opposition over in the states. It would be one thing to do that when the economy was booming, but when people are already struggling, the likelihood is that that will lead to reduced spending within the economy and generally speaking, flagging consumer confidence. With many businesses performing anemically or collapsing altogether, the smart money will be looking at capital preservation as much as great yields. The portfolio allocation devoted to silver is always useful because if it does do well, that might happen when stocks underperform, which means that you're always hedged against loss. One interesting quote which is relevant to this that I read recently is from Lynn Alden. You should follow her on Twitter. She says, globally, with zero yields everywhere, more people have a store of value problem than a medium of exchange problem. We have no shortage of quick ways to pay, but we have plenty of difficulty finding things to store wealth in for a long time. One of the few things, in my humble opinion, that actually does carry durable intergenerational wealth is silver and gold. And these are things that do carry value. What's interesting is that many analysts in the silver space are comparing where we are right now to what was taking place during the 1970s, which was an era in which very high inflation was present. Commodities exploded at that time, gold climbing to unimaginable heights of over $800. It doubled and doubled and kept on doubling. Many are of the view that now we're in the same time period and inflation is likely to go up. There are analysts who draw out trend lines going back to 2004, particularly for gold, for instance, and claim that we're going to see an enormous breakout by the second half of 2021. And if that happens, it'll be an enormous gold wave that we've not seen before. There's an interesting tweet here from Silver Chartist in which he says that back in March 2020, the gold to silver ratio of 120 to 1 was a historical anomaly. The current 74 to 1 ratio continues to present silver as the much more favorable value proposition going forward. And this is something that I pointed out on a previous video. As the gold silver ratio continues to drop, silver becomes a much more attractive option in terms of its upside potential. And here's a really interesting chart which shows how silver goes ballistic in 2021. Gold already laid out the technical framework. Now a year later, it's Silver's turn to lead the dance. Q1, $42, Q4, $62 targets with overshoots. Hang on tight. I mean, this is something that isn't just my opinion. I don't just rely on my view. I actually look at what people who have some credibility in the space are saying about all of this stuff. You can't necessarily conclude that Silver will copy gold. But I don't think investors have really got many places to go. So Patrick Carrion believes that if silver breaks out above $28.50, then we're heading for a huge upside push towards $60 into $70. Not being a technical analyst, I can't really comment. I do find it interesting that he lays out this bullish case though. So finally, I will lay out all of the catalysts behind why I think silver is going to appreciate in value and reach $70 and probably go beyond that in 2021. We've talked about the fiscal stimulus, $7.1 trillion last year, and it's going to increase. It looks as though a $2 trillion plus dollar package is going to be approved in the next few days, according to Goldman Sachs. We've got the very low interest rates, as signaled by the Fed. It's going to continue its ultra easy monetary conditions for at least the next year. Obviously, the reason for that is because if they go up even slightly, that's going to blow up the balance sheets so that the US government is going to be unable to pay its debts. We've got the dollar weakening. And the dollar weakening means that that's bullish for gold and it's bullish for silver and jumping commodity prices, future COVID variants, a prolonged recession, plus the fact that silver outperforms gold during the second half of a recession, as I've described in previous videos. So that's it for now. Thank you so much for watching. All the very best and thanks for tuning in and we hope to see you again soon. Bye.